Mheshimiwa Rais wetu mpendo wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania, e, Mheshimiwa Samia Suluhu Hassan, e, moja ya maelekezo yake e, kwa wizara hii ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha e, tunatatua changamoto zinazo e, e, ikabili sekta binafsi. Ndugu zangu changamoto zinazozikabili sekta e, binafsi na hasa wenye viwanda vidogo e, ni pamoja na gharama za uzalishaji, ukosefu wa masoko ya uhakika lakini pia e, kushindwa kuhimili ushindani. E, lakini pia wana changamoto ya kuwa na taswira isiyovutia ya maeneo ya kufanya kazi, wafanya kazi kutokuwa na morali ya kufanya kazi kwa bidii na mengineyo. Ndugu zangu, yapo maandiko ambayo yanaeleza kuwa kati ya sababu za kushindwa kuhimili ushindani e, ni pamoja na upotevu wa rasilimali gharama zisokuwa e, lazima viwandani lakini pia na ubora hafifu e, katika mlolongo mzima wa uzalishaji ikiwemo taswira ya kukatisha tamaa kwa wabia na wanunuzi wa bidhaa zinazozalishwa katika e, e, viwanda e, vidogo katika nchi yetu ndugu zangu utumiaji sahihi wa falsafa ya kaizeni katika maeneo yetu ya kazi itatatua e, kama si moja kwa moja yote au baadhi ya changamoto hizo ikiwemo kuokoa muda e, na gharama zisizo za lazima e, kuzuia upotevu au uharibifu wa vitendea kazi na kuongeza hali ya kujiamini na kukubalika katika ubia ufuatiliaji na usafi kwa ujumla e, katika kujenga taswira nzuri ya kuvutia wadau na kuzingatia masuala e, mtambuka katika viwanda vyetu au maeneo ya kazi tunamozalishia bidhaa zetu. Ndugu wa shiriki kwa kutambua umuhimu wa Kaizen, Wizara ya Uwekezaji, Viwanda na Biashara imeendelea kushirikiana na JAICA kutekeleza mradi wa kuimarisha sekta ya viwanda kupitia falsafa ya Kaizen tangia mwaka 2013 Awamu ya pili ya mradi huo inayotekelezwa mpaka sasa eh, kwa kipindi kuanzia 2017 na kumalizika mwezi Machi mwaka huu 2022 ili lenga baadhi ya mikoa ya Tanzania Mikoa hiyo ni pamoja na Arusha, Dar es Salaam, Dodoma, Kilimanjaro, Mbeya, Morogoro Mwanza na Singida. Ndugu shiriki mikoa hii imetumika kama maeneo ya kimkakati ya kueneza falsafa ya kaizeni nji mzima. Hadi sasa tumekwisha kuafikia mikoa 12 baada eh, baada ya mikoa ya Kagera, Mtwara, Pwani na Tanga kukamilisha mafunzo ambayo yamekamilika mwezi Januari mwaka huu 2022. Kwa awamu ya pili ya mradi ina kamilika kama niliwasema mwezi Machi napenda nitumie nafasi hii kuiomba serikali ya Japan kupitia mheshimiwa balozi wetu mpendwa Shinichi Goto tunaomba tuendelee na ushirikiano kwa kuendelea kufadhili mradi eh, wa awamu ya tatu ili tuendelee kusambaza falsafa ya kaizeni katika mikoa ikiwezekana yote iliyobakia ili kuendana na utekelezaji wa mpango wa kitaifa wa miaka kumi yani mwaka 2020 30 katika kueneza falsafa ya kaizeni hapa nchini ndugu wa shiriki falsafa ya kaizeni inahimiza na kutukumbusha kwamba watendaji tuzingatie ubunifu na ubora katika kudhibiti mazingira ya kazi vile vile kubore, kuboresha usimamizi wa rasilimali zetu ili kuokoa upotevu wa fedha muda na miundo mbinu hii ni pamoja na kutumia vema rasilimali e, watu kwa lengo la kupunguza gharama zisizokuwa za lazima viwandani lakini hatimaye viwanda vyetu viweze kuhimili ushindani kibiashara aidha utekezaji wa falsafa ya kaizeni unaweza pia kusaidia kuboresha matumizi ya mfumo 
e, takwimu pamoja na kuhifadhi kumbukumbu ambazo ni muhimu sana. Takwimu na nyaraka ni muhimu kwa ajili ya kujenga imani miongoni mwa watendaji na watumishi wote viwandani lakini katika mnyororo mzima wa thamani katika uzalishaji wa bidhaa zetu. Ndugu washiriki, maadhimisho ya siku ya Kaizen Tanzania yanatumika kama jukwaa muhimu la kuwezesha washiriki kujifunza zaidi na kubadilisha na uzoefu na kuhamasishana namna bora zaidi ya kutekeleza falsafa ya Kaizen. Hivyo ujuzi utakaopatikana hapa utaweza kuchangia katika juhudi za kuongeza mchango wa sekta ya viwanda katika ukuaji wa uchumi endelevu wa nchi yetu. Ndugu washiriki, maadhimisho haya yamebeba kauli mbiu isemayo kaizeni kwa Tanzania ya viwanda na maendeleo jumuishi. Kauli mbiu hii inaendana e, sambamba na malengo ya dira ya maendeleo ya taifa pamoja na azma ya serikali ya awamu ya sita chini ya rais wetu mpendwa Samia Suru Hassan inayodhamiria Tanzania kuwa nchi ya uchumi wa juu wakati unaoongozwa na ukuaji wa sekta ya viwanda kwa maendeleo ya watu. Aidha sote ni mashahidi jinsi ambavyo rais wetu mpendwa Samia Suru Hassan rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania ambavyo kwa dhamira ya dhati amekuwa akifanya juhudi mbalimbali mbali, ili kuvutia wawekezaji na kuimarisha na kuweka mazingira bora ya uwekezaji na ufanyaji biashara nchini. Lengo kuu ni kufanya Tanzania kutambulika kama nchi ya ubora, ufanisi na tija thabiti. Hivyo Wizara ya Uwekezaji, Viwanda na Biashara kwa kushirikiana na wadau kutoka sekta binafsi na sekta ya umma inaendelea na inaendeleza sekta ya viwanda kulingana na malengo ya dira ya maendeleo ya taifa ya mwaka 2025. Maadhimisho haya ndugu washiriki ya siku ya Kaizen Tanzania yanafanyika sambamba na juhudi za wizara za kuendeleza kuboresha mifumo, taratibu na sheria za kurahisisha uwekezaji na ufanyaji wa biashara hapa nchini. Kwa hiyo wizara inaendelea kusimamia lakini zaidi kuratibu ili sera ya uwekezaji na maendeleo ya sekta ya viwanda na biashara na masoko iweze kuwa endelevu lakini ene tija kwa wawekezaji lakini kwa nchi yetu kwa ujumla. Ndugu washiriki, miongozo na sera hizo kwa pamoja vinasisitiza kuendelea kuiweka kuiwekea sekta binafsi mazingira bora na wezeshi. Ndugu washiriki Inatajiwa kuwa maadhimisho ya tatu ya siku ya Kaizeni hapa Tanzania yataamsha ari ya kujituma katika kutekelezwa kwa vitendo na kutetea haki za wananchi wakati wa utekelezaji wa mikakati ya e, mikakati ya sera, program na miongozo iliyopo. Hii itawasaidia walengwa kutumiwa kwa fasa zaidi fursa mbalimbali zinazojitokeza ndani ya nchi lakini pia nje ya nchi yetu. Ndugu washiriki na jua sasa bado tuko e, na changamoto ya uviko 19 wakati tunaendelea kupambana na janga hilo lazima tuendelee kuendana na utandawazi unaokuwa ambao pia umeleta changamoto nyingi e, katika sekta ya uwekezaji viwanda na biashara kwa ajili hiyo falsafa ya kaizeni tunaamini itaenda kusaidia makampuni ya nani na watendaji serikalini kubadilika kwa kubadilishana uzoefu kwa lengo la kufikia matokeo bora makubwa na kwa haraka zaidi kwa ajili ya maendeleo yetu sote kama unavyojua sekta binafsi ya Tanzania bado ni changa lakini sisi kama wizara viwanda na biashara tunaendelea kuilea na kuimarisha ili iweze kusimama lakini zaidi tukilenga ushindani wa bidhaa zetu zinazozalishwa ndani kwa hiyo ni kazi yetu kupitia e, falsafa ya Kaizen kuhakikisha tunanufaika na msaada huu mzuri kutoka kwa ndugu zetu wa rafiki wa dhati wa muda mrefu katika maendeleo ya nchi hii Japan 
Mheshimiwa wa balozi sisi kama nchi kwa niaba ya serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania tunakuhakikishieni tutaendelea kushirikiana na ninyi na kama nilivyosema bado tunahitaji support yenu katika maeneo mengi ikiwemo kujenga uwezo katika taasisi zetu lakini pia kuendeleza awamu hii nyingine ya tatu ili tuweze kupata falsafa hii ya kaizeni katika mikoa yote tunaamini ni muda mwafaka kuona sekta binafsi ya Tanzania tunashirikiana na sekta ya Japan Mheshimiwa Baloza amesema Toyota na wengine kuona sasa tunaweza kufanya e, uunganishaji wa magari mapya ya Toyota na mengine hapa nchini Today's award ceremony comes just few months after Tanzania had successfully hosted the African Kaizen Annual Conference 2021 on 24th August last year for the very first time. It was indeed a very good experience and I believe that all of you have learned a lot from those experiences even though Tanzania's enterprises couldn't match with the top position award during the competitions. Your participation was a very good step forward. You represented your country as a host very well during the competition. I do believe that the conference was a good occasion to spread the Kaizen spirit all over Tanzania and throughout the whole African continent. Last year, on a similar occasion, I mentioned Tanzania has experienced and a fast and strong economic growth in the last decade, as it was substantiated by the World Bank's categorization of a lower middle income country. However, we should always bear in mind that any success in economic growth will come with other new challenges and needs for improvement in the business environment. I'm glad that Tanzania has already started to steadily implement most of the recommendations from the blueprint in order to solve these upcoming challenges. I'm very much looking forward to the new legislative measures to be taken by the Samia Hassan administration. Moreover, despite the COVID-19 pandemic, African economies, including Tanzania, have so far shown robustness. The future prospect of the Africa is still bright. As it is estimated that in 2022, the continent GDP will increase by 4.6%, according to the African Developing Bank's African Economic Outlook 2021. In this context, the African countries have come to the need to nurture their strong SMEs and encourage industrial development as it has been well stipulated in the African Union Vision Agenda 2063. As I have already emphasized several times in the past occasions, that African countries should learn from Japan on the importance of SMEs and managerial skills for them. Some researchers insist that we can examine the origin of Japan's SME policies back in the last decades of the 19th century the Meiji period. Japan's outstanding economic growth has been mostly brought by its SMEs, and Japan's advantage is the presence of numerous strong and skillful SMEs that plays an important role to develop and support a highly advanced industries such as automobile manufacturing. The ministers of Tanzania often asked me to call Toyota to Tanzania and make the company establish an assembly factory here. In such a case, I have always advised them to dispatch a research mission to Japan to study the actual situation of automobile manufacturing industry. Even Toyota, a champion of car maker in the world, heavily depends upon its excellent subcontractors and the parts makers of electronics, harness, glass, and so on and has formed a very efficient supply chain network with them domestically and internationally. We can say that the essence of Japanese competitiveness in the world market is the existence of those creative, innovative, and skillful SMEs. Therefore, the excellent SMEs of Tanzania are very crucial to develop and maintain the various advanced industries in Tanzania and successfully compete 
in the African and the world market. This year, the eighth conference, TICAD 8, TICAD 8 will be held in Tunisia on the 27th and 28th of August to strengthen its business partnership with African countries, inviting the President Samia Hassan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, finally, in concluding my remarks, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the executive staff of the Ministry of Investment, Industry and Trade, JICA, and all of you who have made this event possible. I hope you will prepare yourself very well for the next African Kaizen Annual Conference, which will be held in Cameroon. Thank you very much for listening. Asante ni sana, kwa kunishikiri sana.